Hello guys, as the issue in River State escalates, yes, some we can vow to burn down the state as SAPC Chief Ten demands IG IG and the FCT minister's resignation and made rivers unrest. Timmy Frank, a former All Progressive Congress APC chieftain, has called for the resignation of the Inspector General of Police, IG, Kyode, and the FCT Minister Yeson Wiki over the recent unrest in River State. This followed the burning of two local government secretaries by hoodlums in the aftermath of Saturday's local government election in the state. The former APC Deputy Public City Secretary accused the police of openly supporting political talks who set the local government headquarters ablaze, alleging that the arson attacks occurred shortly after the IG ordered the withdrawal of police from the Secretariat. Frank added that President Bola Tinubu's intervention in the crisis was belated and allegedly biased towards the pro uh fashion. He claimed that the FCT minister had boasted about having President Tinubu's support to destabilize Governor Sim Fubara's administration and make the state ungovernable. Mwike equally vowed to set fire on any states opposed to him, and he has commenced by setting river states ablaze. Frank stated. In August, Mwike warned governors elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, against interfering in the affairs of the party in River State. The FCT minister, who backed Fubara to emerge governor, had turned against him barely months after the letter was sworn into office. And let me assure all of you, not why we live will anybody take away the structure of PDP from us. I hear that there are some governors who say that they will take away the structure and give it back to somebody. I, I pity those governors because I will, I will put fire in their state. When God has given you peace and you say you don't want peace, then whatever you see, you take. Prepare because I have the capacity to also do the same thing in your own state. Mwike has said at the PDP Secretariat in Port Harcourt during the party state's Congress in August. Frank, who had previously raised alarm over alleged plans by Mwike to undermine democracy in River State, faulted President Tinubu for failing to call the minister to order. Mwike has been boasting that he has the president's blessings to do and undo in river states, as well as carry out any action amid a destabilizing governor of Boras administration and making the entire state ungovernable. And he has done it. Wiki equally vowed to set fire on any state opposed to him, and he has commenced by setting river states ablaze. Yet, President Tinubu, and the relevant security agencies have not deemed it necessary to come Wiki to order or invite him for questioning, simply because their grand conspiracy and plot to use the oil-rich states to win the 2027 presidential election. It is highly unfortunate that the president is being perceived as tax seats encouraging his minister to cause mayhem in River State because he thinks it was it to benefit him in the 2027 presidential, but this must stop. Enough is enough. Mwike and the Inspector General of Police must go. Must go. They must be held accountable for this ransom. The perpetrators must be arrested and brought to justice. All patriotic Nigerians, including the former president and heads of labor and trade unions, must speak up to save River State and its oil facilities from destruction by these sponsored uh, arsonists. President Tinubu must, 
must for once act as the Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not Commander-in-Chief of all progressive Congress and political stage. The President sworn to an oath to carry out his duties as President without fear or favor. But today is going that, is, gla is, is glaring that he has taken sides with Mwike, Rivers people, Frank said in a statement in Abuja. Hmm. Well, uh, Nigerians are saying the IG is a politician, he's an APC member, so he's just playing the game of a politician. Uh, and this is really very sad. This is really very, very sad. This is happening. All this while is caused by one man and the government cannot, the government could not do anything about this. It's really very sad. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.